Okay, for my first repair attempt, probably going to head for what looks to be the simplest fix for me, since I'm completely new to this. And that is this little rot hole here. So just this channel below the sliding door. This is a nice little hole I found. I painted around it, which I probably shouldn't have done. So I'm going to take some time with a wire brush, remove as much of this as I can, so we can see what we're working with. extra little holes there so what I'm going to do is cut it here and then cut it here so I've got a nice square uniform area to work with. Fairly decent, I mean, there's a lot of nice shiny metal there, there and there. There is quite a bit of rust there and there. A professional welder would probably cut that out, but my theory is if I start cutting out every bit of rust, I'm only gonna have half a van left. <laughs> so uh, I've gotta work with what I've got. There are a few holes there, just here. Um, I probably should cut them out, but I'm gonna leave them for now. Uh, mostly because this is nice and flat here and I can cut a nice square easy piece whereas that starts to bend up there and get wider at the top it's going to be a bit more difficult to fabricate the metal especially since all I've got is a vise and a hammer I'm going to leave it at that and um, I'm going to cut out some sort of plate that sits on top there and on top there that's going to overlap but then at the front here this is going to be flush with this lip so that the um, the rubber seal here can slide down onto it nicely. So let's see what I can cut out. So after some fine adjustments, uh, dropping out a little bit there, a little bit more off the edges, I pretty much put this exactly into place there. That fits nice and snugly on there. I've got a place to weld it on there, there, and along the back here. All I need to do now is bend this metal up so that it's flush with that. So I'm going to mark. Well, it should it should be on the edge anyway, but. mark exactly where it is, there and there, yeah, you see that's a little bit away from the edge, so I'm going to try and bend this metal now across that line. shot it a little bit there perhaps but 
we'll go see what that looks like. Just need to file a bit more off that edge, it doesn't want to fit in. Okay, so as you can see, this whole section here looks like it's just too high up. That's because this is sat on top of that instead of being flush with it. So I think probably hmm, what my idea is is to cut a little bit along there, cut a little bit along there, and bend this whole front section down slightly just so it sits flush with that. See if that works. So after half an hour of hammering and bending and cutting, this is about the best I can come up with. This is not perfect, but fits quite nicely into the spot there. This, um, this appears to be nice and flush along there, so this is going to be able to fit on it nicely. It is a little bit higher up here, but once this is welded into place, I can just file this down. The thing to do now is to tack it into place. Okay, it's a couple of days later. I actually went to set up my welder and realized that my gas bottle had drained itself overnight, uh, which is a real bummer. So I had to wait for a new one to come in the post. And uh, here's where I ruin all of my hard work by putting awful welds down on it. So let's give this a go. a little bit better. Have to file that down see how it looks. Well, there we are. So the welds don't look great. I had to grind them down because they did look pretty terrible actually. But that's because I'm a new welder. Unfortunately, I've discovered these rot holes here. So my next thing is going to be replacing this plate with a new piece of metal. Um, but I'm pretty happy with certainly the way the lips turned out here. It's all right. That's nice and strong. This looks okay. So I'm going to get this sorted out.
So there we have it, that's the finished result. Um, I've sort of got mixed feelings about it. I'm happy with the metal work that I did. I'm happy that I've cut the rot out. I'm happy with the way it looks. And uh, this rubber seal is gonna fit nicely on there, I'm sure. Um, not too sure about the strength of the welds. Um, I am a little bit concerned, perhaps I should have given it higher heat or a little bit more wire speed. These are the kind of things that I don't have the answers to. Um, so if anyone can give me any constructive feedback, that'd be appreciated. I'm completely new to welding, but they look all right. I mean, I paid a professional welder to do that and it looks almost the same as that really. I mean, there's not a lot in it. I did also weld this from the back. So that's got a little bit of extra strength on that plate. I think that should be fine, uh, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>